Hi, this is Bart Polson, and this video is for Behavioral Science 3010 Statistics for the Behavioral Sciences at Utah Valley University. In this video, we're looking at the third practice test for Chapter 5, which is on z-scores. The first question in this test is, which z-score is closest to the mean of its distribution? And the choices are negative 1.9, negative 1, 1.1, or 3.0. Well, the answer to this one is negative 1.0. Again, the important thing for this is because in z-scores, if you want to look at which one's closest, you want to look at absolute values. Uh, here's our little depiction here. We've got a distribution where it's written in z-scores on the bottom. You see the zero there, and it goes negative to the left and uh, positive to the right, and you simply want to look for the one that is closest. So you take the absolute value, you ignore the plus or minus, and look for the smallest value. In this case, it's the negative 1.0. All right, question number two. If the mean of a sample is 5 and the standard deviation is 2, then what is the z-score for raw score of 8? And the choices are 8, 3, 1.5, and 7. Well, in this case, the answer is 1.5. Let's take a look at the formula to see how it works. What you do is you first need to take the deviation from the mean, that's x minus m. x is the person's raw score minus m, which is the mean. That gets you the deviation score, and then you divide that by the standard deviation. So in this case, it's the score of x, that's 8, and subtract the mean of 5, and then divide by the standard deviation of 2. Well, 8 minus 5 is 3, we divide that by 2, and the answer is 1.5. So if this person got a raw score of 8, it means that they are one and a half standard deviations above the mean of 5. All right, third question. What is the value of kurtosis for a normal distribution? And the choices are 0, 1, infinite, or cannot be calculated. And uh, the answer to this one is 0. Remember, kurtosis has a little bit more to do with the shape of the distribution, and it's affected a lot by the presence of outliers. Um, you may recall this uh, chart here. We have three variations of distributions. Uh, the one on the left is the one we're concerned about right now. That's the normal distribution. You see it says normal in parentheses there. Um, and it is also known as mesokurtic, where meso means middle and kurtic means bulge, so a middle-sized bulge. And beneath it is k for its value of kurtosis, and it has kurtosis of zero. Uh, next to it, B, a leptokurtic distribution, which means a skinnier, thin bulge. It has a positive value of kurtosis, so it's greater than zero. And the one on the far right, C, is a platokurtic distribution, which means a flat bulge, and it has a negative value for kurtosis. But a normal distribution has a zero value for kurtosis, as well as for skewness, and that's just something to keep in mind for the test. All right, number four, what percent of the normal distribution is between a z of negative 1 and z of 0? The choices are 68%, 34%, 99.7%, or 13.6%. The answer in this case is 34%. Uh, and let's take a look at the distribution. We're starting at a z-score of negative 1. That means one standard deviation below or to the left of the mean. The mean's right here in the middle. We go down 1, and we come up to the middle, and what we have is just this, uh, the left side, we have it where it says 34.13%, and so 34% is within one standard deviation below the mean. There's another 34% one standard deviation above the mean, but right now we're only asking about the below the mean part, and so that is the answer to number four. Finally, number five, if a person got a z-score of negative 2 on a test that had a mean of 80 and a standard deviation of 5, then what was their raw score? The choices are 75, 78, 90, or 70. In this case, the answer is 70, and let's look at how the formula works. Um, again, this is simply a rearranged version of the z-score formula, except instead of solving for z, we're solving for x. And so you put x is equal to the mean plus z times the standard deviation, so a certain number of standard deviation units above or below the mean. In this case, we have a mean of 80, so we put that there first, and then the z-score is negative 2. I'm going to put that in parentheses, so just because we're adding something, we're going to multiply by a negative number. And then we multiply down the standard deviation of 5, so we have 80 plus 
negative two times five. And again, because of the order of operations, we do the multiplication before we do addition or subtraction. So we have 80 uh, minus 10, and 80 minus 10 is 70. And that tells us that in this distribution, a person with a z-score of minus two would have gotten a score of 70 on the raw scale. And that's it for the third practice test for chapter five, which is also the last practice test we have before you take the first exam in the testing center. And I wish you very good luck on that. Thanks a lot.